let's use the tarot apocalypse. All right, let's tap more into that apocalyptic era that we are facing. All right, so on top of the deck, we have number 21, the world card. And this particular deck, it really depicts a masculine in the third dimension looking up into this divine feminine that is a, a celestial being that be incarnated into a human form, right? And so uh, she is being viewed as something um, pure, as an angel, angelic, divine, supernatural, powerful, right? Um, and this masculine is really uh, ag acknowledging the the abilities that she has, right? Watching, learning, noticing that there is a very big difference in her energy compared to other uh, feminines that he's been involved with. Now, with the lovers, again, she's a high dimensional individual while he's more into the low vibration. Um, but he's uh, learning on how to balance his energy and evolve in order to graduate spiritually and to match her energy, right? Or to uh, like, uh, you know, raise his vibrations to the point where he's able to be with her, right? Because he's been stuck in the third dimension way too long when she has, you know, evolved and, and, and graduated, you know, uh, through different dimensions. She's multidimensional already, right? So let's, let's continue. Now, I really love this deck because it's really going to show us how the, um, how revelations and apocalypse is going to impact different parts of the world, different locations, different cultures, civilizations, you know, uh, um, yeah, it's being impacted worldwide. We are in, uh, February, which is, uh, Valentine's. And Cupid is really trying to transform all those soulmates that are supposed to be divined, right? They were selected and chosen, that had the potential to become a god, an earthly god or a multidimensional god, right? An angelic being, a light worker, right? But they must balance their shadow work as well. It's a magical process. The truth of the matter is that, you know, we have to listen to our intuition. We have to activate our brain activity with the Ace of Swords, right? Really is start acknowledging, decoding, and deciphering the Bible and other uh, magical, powerful books out there, right? And start, uh, like, you know, activating uh, your DNA, Activating your uh, your superpowers, your super strengths. Activating your ancient higher self, right? See, we have a here an Egyptian god, right? Wow, this is so damn, like, look, I mean, seriously, this is fucking, this is Horus, right? See the cobra energy here, also, the sun, and it's on top of, uh, we have my art here. Balancing the scales. 
embracing karma and dharma as well. This is an energy that I have activated as well. I have activated all these energies with the chariot again, getting the help from other realms, okay? Getting help from different heavens, all right? Different angelic beings that are assisting us in the process. Again, mastering our, our shadow self, embracing it, using it for, our, you know, uh, to defend ourselves, right? Using our dark energy to defend ourselves, protect ourselves, right? From all evil and, and tactics or e evil is the warfare, right? Queen Shiva. Again, all the gods and goddesses are getting together, right? They're getting together to assist God's kingdom. All right. Tell me about judgment. Working hard. So India is also going to get impacted. All right. But certain parts of India. I also see monks here. Monks are very powerful. Very powerful. And that's so something that we need to get inspired or activate that monk energy within us. The Two of Pentacles bringing balance. I feel like there's going to be like a Navy attack or something. Because I feel like this is like some type of like a bomb or something in the water. Some type of water explosion with the devil. A submarine. Some type of water. Um, yeah. A boat, a, a cruise ship will be impacted. We have the Empress here. Okay. She reminds me of Cleopatra, but also she reminds me of Isis. Ooh, here we go. King of Pentacles. This is Kali Ma's husband, right? Chiba, uh, what, what was his name? Um, I have it in the tip of my tongue. Tongue. <laughs> Ooh, the two of cups. All right. Roman and Greek empires. I do feel like a, a strong indication that, oh, okay, so part of Europe also, like, um, what's it called? Like, Iceland, Greenland, Switzerland, uh, is it a new kingdom or what is it called? It's going to be all over the news with the, with the title card, right? It's going to be all over the news. Right. Okay. The star. So, Mary Magdalene, right, Virgin Mary, different virgins will be here. We have, oh, okay. I get like a Nefertiti. Okay. Here we go. This is uh, Isis. The Nine of Wands. Queen of Swords, like Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Five of Cups. I mean, Maya and Astra. Blood Rituals. 
I mean, it's going to be a lot of different legacies that...